guys, Public here today and welcome to Airport CEO. This is a new game that's just released out on Steam in early access. It is Alpha Build V0.21.3. Just for future reference, so this is a very early version of the game. It's so early that there's not even any settings yet. Um, you can't really do anything. <laughs> yeah, there's no settings in the game. But it's looking pretty cool. I thought it looked pretty exciting. It's kind of like if you remember Sim Airport, it's like that, but it almost seems more polished and a little bit more in-depth than that. So we're going to begin a new adventure. Oh, here we go. Change my face. Uh, let's see. Well, I'll be... I'll be a guy. Because that, that's me. Oh, I can flip my hair back and forth. Whip my hair back and forth. I'll whip my hair back and... Okay, let's... Uh, which way does my hair go? That way. Hair color. What? Oh. <laughs> Shit, can I have the same color skin? Wait, it's slightly... It's very close. Are, are these... That's, I mean, that's pretty close. Let's do that. Let's have the same colored skin. <laughs> can I get the same colored eyes? I can get brown eyes, I guess. That'll probably do. Get a nice nose. Oh, that one's nice and defined. I like that. Get a nice mouth. I can be just more smiley or less smiley. I can wear a suit or I could wear... Let's be cash. Let's be super cash and blend into the background. First name. J... Oh, James. Turn up. That's me. Continue. Uh... Cool. Uh, oh, here we go. Right. Confirm airport location. All right. Uh, well, I guess I'll go Australia. Well, what is this loading this map from? Is this like actually loading from like Bing maps or something? Okay, let's go. Let's zoom into Sydney. Uh, no, I don't. Okay, I'm zooming in, but the map is not scaling. Oh, it doesn't zoom any further. Okay, fair enough. Does it get clearer than this though? Because I want to get it exactly right. Because the airport is. Uh, wait, where am I? So Sydney there. Airport is like just here. There we go. Confirm airport location. Airport name. Uh, Flabaliki. International. There we go. Uh, my my three-letter airport code. Um, flap flab, flab leaky. I wish you could do flab. That'd be way better. How about we do? It, we could do fin for flab I don't know. You know what? It, it, it doesn't really matter. Anything. Airport logo. Oh, I wish we could use a custom logo. How about we beat some palm trees? Uh, there's not a lot of logo choices here. Uh, all right. Easy. Probably gonna. Uh, E pretty easy to run an airport. Being a CEO, a personal threat to your, your pension. Okay. And then, so you start with less and less money. You know what? Because I've never played this before, this is like this is my first time playing. Let's just go with easy and we'll... So just so we don't completely fail the game immediately. I think, you know, we'll take our time a little bit. We'll be okay. Uh, all right. Dear James, thank you for your uh, last meeting. Blah, blah, blah. Cool. Uh... <laughs> I think that's just a lot of injury. You've got a lot of work ahead of you, uh, so you'd better get to it. I can't give you any tips because I really don't know how to run an airport. Cool! Here's the most important thing you need to know. Press tab to open and close the management panel. Uh, press F1 for tips. Okay, that's probably useful. Use the manuals page for a guided instruction on how to build an airport. That sounds like a good idea. Oh, here we go. So tips and controls. Help is F1. Ah, oh, okay, so that's this overload. That's actually useful because if we forget what goes where, we've got this. Uh, so we need to use the... Management panel um, for getting a thing that does stuff, right? Emails. Construction tutorial step one. Okay. Hey there, James Turner. My name is Linus Carlson. I work as a senior. Okay, cool. Uh, I've heard you're interested in learning how to construct an airport. For this reason, I've given you access to the manuals page where you can take various CEO courses. Cool. That sounds like a good idea. Uh, has been enabled and you learn it. Head over to the manuals panel to... Okay, where's my man... Oh, there's my manuals panel. Construction! All right. I guess we start in this. In progress. All right. Step one. Sign a construction company. Uh, To-do list. So open the economy panel. Navigate to contracts tab. Sign a contract with a contractor. So... And then open the operations panel. Navigate to construction tab. Make sure that you have at least one contractor offload site and one... Oh, okay. So I think... Uh, How do I move? Oh, W, A, S, and D. Okay, you can't click and drag. All right. Um, so we got, I guess, deliveries and like workers, I guess. So that's probably that uh, tab. It gets that open. Good to know. So back down here. All right. So, uh, so we want to go to the economy and go to the contracts tab. Contracts. Okay, so we got, I guess we have one. So accepted and offered. We have these guys. So I guess we accept these guys. What up? This is a contract between... HWY, I'm just going to say Highway because that's totally what that abbreviation is, and Flabaliki International. Uh, highway was established by blah blah blah. Okay, cool. The following conditions apply. Maximum deployable contract is 55. Hourly fee per use contractor is $9.90. That's a low fee, but let's sign it. Sign in. Oh, look at my signature. It's great. Okay. Sounds like something's on fire. 
I don't know what that sound is, but it sounds like something's burning. Um, all right, so manuals. Where's my construction one? So, uh, oh, I've scrolled all the way to the bottom for some reason. All right, so there, so we did that. Open the operations panel, navigate to construction tab. Okay, so operations and construction. All righty, construction. Uh, deploy contractors. Deploy all. Okay, well, I, I think my game is no, my game's not paused. Okay, so one, two, and three for speed. Annoyingly, the back tick is not the pause button. Like, I'm gonna guess it's P. Yeah, that's really far away and kind of annoying, but whatever. Can I use the pace bar? Nope. All right, so I guess are these guys gonna like show up? Oh, here they come. Okay, so these guys are rolling on into the airport, which is good. So if we go back over to our manuals, um, right, make sure deploy the construction crew. I guess that will. I guess when they're here, maybe that will be good. In progress. Uh, we mean we've deployed them, right? Maybe we have to wait for the second one to come through. There you go. They're deployed. Now what? Oh, okay. I just have to refresh it. Cool. Construct terminal. All right. So we just want to uh, open the structures section and select terminal foundation to demolish a specific object. Hold control. All right. So well, let's. Oh god. Can I turn off edge scrolling? Oh wait. There's no settings in this game, is there? Because <laughs> edge scrolling is really annoying when you're in windowed mode. Uh, unless audio. Uh, no, I don't think. Oh wait. Hey, there are some settings. Graphics, not implemented, no audio. We can do clock, AM to PM, metric. Enable autosave, probably a good idea. Especially because it's an early, early game. AM, PM, that, oh, no, I have to click save first, that's probably why. I mean, I don't really need AM, PM, doesn't really matter. Okay. So we've got our, got our road. So we want to go to uh, infrastructure. Uh, God, the edge scrolling is annoying. And we're going to have to try and not hit the edge. Uh, then we want to go for, wait, no. So we want to go to construction, was it? Structures. Foundation. That's what we want. Okay, so we've got this space to build, which seems pretty big. But then again, I guess we don't really know how much room stuff takes up uh, at all. <laughs> Do we want more roads? No, I guess we can probably get away without more roads at the moment. We'll leave room though. So a road is like these, like so one tile for each lane, I guess. So if we leave like a little bit of space there. Maybe go back a bit more. I don't know. Let's just build here. Let's see what happens. So this is, oh, this is actually, so there's 21,000 for this, but we've got $2 million. So I think we can, let's not go too big to start off with because, but I don't really know how big everything is in this game. Oh, I have to click and click again. Okay. I don't know how big everything is in this game. Like, I don't know what the layout's going to be yet. Um, okay. So you guys going to go ahead and build. Yep. There's a delivery truck. I guess that makes sense. And away they go. Cool. All right. So you guys are building. Let me get back to my manuals. Uh, alright, that's completed. So then, connect public transport system. So open the infrastructure section, uh, select a bus drop-off or car drop-off. Make sure the airport is opened by the operations panel before expecting anyone to arrive. Well, I don't think I'd want to open the airport yet anyway. What I might do though, is actually get more, I might actually do, get more road that goes around. Let's go here. Why well, don't I So if this is road, I'm building road, right? What happens if I do this? Like, I'd make a huge... Tarmac. I wonder if you do like car parks or something. What happens if you just do one lane? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to build out this way. And then we're going to go bus stop. So middle mouse wheel to rotate. Okay, well actually we guess. Oh, see now I've kind of done it a bit too. You know, hang on. Hold up. Hold up. Demolition tool. Oh, hang on. I think I have to use this and then control. Yep. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're not going to do that because I didn't leave enough room. Whoops. Uh, okay. Let me try that again. All right, there we go. So that should have enough room for like a bus stop and that. All right, so bus stop. We'll go here then. Uh, or maybe here. I don't know. I don't really know where I want to put it. Here? Because where am I going to have the entrance? I want to have the entrance there, I guess. So it sort of has like a little side. Or maybe we should... You know what? This, I, I guess, it, you know what? It doesn't really matter because we're learning the game. Bus stop, and then we're going to get car drop off. Which, why don't we just do it before the bus stop? We'll get three of them. Why not? I don't, I don't know if that's going to help us or what, but let's do that. Uh, all right, so I'll speed up time there a little bit. Then we also have sidewalks, which is cool. Something that Prison Architect took forever. No, no it wasn't Prison Architect. That had sidewalks. What, what game never had sidewalks? Oh, Software Inc. It never had pathways. It was really annoying. Oh, also, those guys are totally stuck inside. <laughs> uh, I guess it's going to be item for like a door or something. Uh, oh, maybe not. Maybe it is just structures. Large door. Here we go. So let's have a door around the side. Let's have it like at the bottom there. We'll have a couple doors. We'll have a one wall tile apart. So that'll be like our main entrance. All right, so they'll at least be able to get out and help me build again. Cool. All right, infrastructure. We're going to go for more sidewalks. because I feel like two wide is not enough. It should be four if our tiles are four wide each. So let's do that. All right, so we've got a bus stop. We've got all that. So to open our airport, it says, 
well, if we want people to show up, but I guess there's no point opening it though. But how do I, what did it tell me? How did it, uh, make sure uh, the airport is open via the operations panel uh, before anyone shows up. Okay. So we'll just have to remember to open it. Overview, fast forward to next day. Oh, that's cool. Oh, airport closed, open all security. Okay, so yeah, airport's closed at the moment. We don't want it open anyway. We don't have anything. I know why there's an airport shuttle. There's like no reason for it to be there. Um, I might also... Actually, can I move? No, I think I have to destroy that because I, I want to I wanna get rid of it right now, actually. Oh, okay. Well, can that hurry up and move? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? No, I just want to... No, oh, bulldozer disappeared. That's why. All right, remove that. The reason being... So I want to go sidewalk here, so it just sort of goes through to the road. Are they going to remove that? What's going on? I... Oh no, yeah, yeah, there's a guy there, okay. Sidewalk there, and then the bus stop after it. Because I feel like we didn't have any gap there, and then you can even get a crosswalk. <gasps> Look at that. Beautiful! I don't know where that's going to go, but if we had some... You know what, why don't we go like this? We get a second bus stop on the other side of the road. For some reason, I don't know why, but it's there. Hell yeah. Let me get this here. For some reason, I don't know. There might be something there eventually. I, I don't know what we need. Like, I this is me first time playing. Me first time playing. <laughs> My first time playing. I don't know if we need offices or something because we get like an office building over there. Uh, anyway, let's uh, not worry about that. Let's go to the next uh, thing. Let's just keep working through our little tutorial kind of thing that we have, so we know what we're doing, at least to some degree. Uh, it's not there. Okay, construction. Uh, let's scroll back up again because it keeps resetting. Early game. Uh, zoning restrictions. I guess is what we're up to. Yes. Right. Uh, oh wait. Actually, we were supposed to do this, but I guess we already did it. Construction workers can walk across any surface, any zone area. They can walk on grass and across roads and do not need to, uh, to pass security checkpoints. So that's our workers, okay. Passengers and employees can only walk on sidewalks and inside the terminal. They are required to pass security checkpoints if moving to a zone area. So we have to do pathways for them to get around. Okay, good to know. Security personnel are not required to pass security checkpoints. Right, so uh, that's just telling me how to build that. We already did that, so it's kind of good. Zoning restrictions. An airport can be divided into... Okay, cool. Uh, however, an area that is not zoned at all is known as an open area and can be accessed by anyone. Okay. Certain objects such as boarding desks are required to be placed inside a secure area. A secure area is... Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, to do this, use a staff zone tool. Uh, areas can also be zoned for staff, uh, for employee access only. Please refer to the image below for an ideal perspective of a typical person flow between different zones. Right, so I guess... That's like security zone or something, and then to the that. Sure. Is that outside? That's security outside, and then you go. Oh no no wait what? No, it is outside. That's that's an open wall. That's weird. Zone your airport to prepare for different perimeter <laughs> uh, separation. No, the entire secure zone area must be connected, including. Okay, so I guess well, it must be the zone. But what about like the other stuff? Press Z to display zone. Zone your airport to prepare for the different perimeter separation. No, the entire secure zone. Okay, well, I don't know how big everything is yet. I, I guess I'll just do a zone and then change it. Because I guess it probably won't matter. Secure. Cool. Have I completed that now? Oh. I guess it's not actually secure because there's no... Um, how does it want me to... You know what? Let's not worry about that. Let's just build stuff. Wait, hang on. But how... That that, that order doesn't make sense, because it wants me to... Zone your airport to prepare for the different perimeter separation. But I haven't got all that yet. Security and queues. Build a security checkpoint. See, I feel like I should build a security checkpoint before I do... The zoning. Because I don't know where it's going to go, or how big it is. Hmm. Okay. Well, in progress. Well, what do you want me to zone? Let me see if we can, let's just see if we can get past it. <laughs> um, zone, secure. How about staff, bathroom, staff. So there's a staff room, but then there's also staff zone. Staff perform jobs are relaxed. Okay, so it's just a specific thing. Okay, staff. Cool. Oh, did that do both? Oh, you can do staff and secure zone. Okay, I guess that makes sense. You could layer them. Um, did that complete it? Nope. Oh, yeah, I did. Okay, cool. All right, next thing. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. All right, next thing. Uh, we'll not worry about the zones. We'll fix that later. Uh, with a secure area established, you can now build a security checkpoint. Well, hang on. Let me... Okay, you know what? Let's ignore that for now, because I feel like it's skipped a whole bunch of stuff, like, you know, check-in desk and 
security checkpoint and all that. It just doesn't have any of that. Right, so hang on. So information desk used by passengers leaders to acquire information about the airport and flights requires at least one airport staff. So I guess this is before any sort of security or anything like that. Uh, which way does this go? Information. I guess information is going to be the front of the desk. It's going to be facing this way. So we'll have it right at the front here as you enter the airport. Make sure there's enough room. We don't want to cramp things in. Go like that. Uh, I also want to get rid of these zones because... Uh, we don't need them. So I guess we just go control and remove and do it again, maybe. Nope. Maybe we have to select that type of zone and then control it. Okay, cool. We'll get rid of that and we'll not worry about that right now. So it's going to go there. We're spending 6,000 bucks a day, but we also have a lot of money, so that's not a problem. That's going to go there. So information desks. Uh, I wonder if we should have maybe some... Should we do like a wall? Let's do a wall behind it, just so it's like... I don't think we need anything between it, just so behind it, and then you like... Maybe, can we do checking desks like here along this... Oh, it's a weird layout though, maybe we... You know what, we're just... We're kind of just testing at this point, so let's just not... Worry about that, I guess. Items. I guess we're waiting for the deliveries, so they're there. Alright, so it's gonna go there, and then we're gonna go... So we want the check-in desks. Mm -hmm. So there's lots of arrows, so check-in, so it's facing this way. So if we have it against the wall, would that be fine? I don't know, let's find out. I don't know how many we need, but let's get a... Oh, actually, you know what, hang on. There's going to be queues, isn't there? Yeah, let's not, um... Let's make sure we have enough room. I don't know if that's a good idea. Maybe if we go... I need to make this bigger. See, this is why we're, we're just playing it by ear. We're seeing how it goes. Uh, alright, so if we have information that's there, that's fine. But we definitely need enough room for check-in desks. Which, I guess, which way do I want to do them? So if you walk in the doors, go up this way. Maybe along this back wall here. Let's just get enough room there. Let's just do that. Get a plenty of room. And then we'll figure out what we do with that space, if anything, or if we get rid of it, or whatever. Uh, or maybe we should rotate this whole thing. Might make more sense if we have it here and you go in that way. But, uh, I mean, it's fine this way, it's just as long as I lay it out properly. Maybe we move these guys. Let's get rid of these and that wall. Um, yeah, okay. Let's just re- let's redo this. Okay, everyone's stuck in that room at the moment, so let's get rid of that. Okay, so let's slow it down a little bit. Um, can we go, because it's going nighttime and it's kind of annoying me, but we did see that there was a skip to next day, fast forward to next day. Uh, it doesn't go that fast. I guess it's probably just costing me money too, isn't it? Maybe, maybe I'll just not. Can I, can I not do that? Stop. Yeah, okay, that's probably just going to waste money, and it probably doesn't matter. Uh, Alright, so you come in this way, uh, should I move the doors to the bottom? Because I guess it makes more sense, and you have like the checking discs here, and then you go past them. Although we just have more room this way though, don't we? Hmm. See, I don't really, I don't really have a plan for this. Info desk. Let's go info desk here though. Let's do this. No, let's do check-in desk first. Typically you'd have a big row of them. And then we could, yeah, this would work actually. I don't know how much room we need behind these, if any. Uh, let's just put them, let's leave one tile behind, and maybe a gap between them. Just in case, because I have no idea what the requirements of these things are, or how many we even need. Uh, Alright, so we'll do that, then we're going to get some info desks. These will still be at the front, but maybe not quite where they were. Maybe let's go, oh, see, I wish I could put, I wish I had room here. You want us to do this, and then we'll move the door up two tiles. So put that there. So we have them either side of the front doors, which I think will be okay. So we're gonna go items, we're gonna go, no, we're gonna go structures, we're gonna go uh, door, and then we're gonna remove that one, remove that one. And we'll put one there. I guess we'll have to put the walls back too, won't we? Structures, uh, wall. Okay, wall there. And wall there. Oop, sorry. Wall there. Oh. And... Wall... There. All right, so let's get those guys to build that, and then we're going to go large door is going to go here. And there. All right, so a bunch of those are in, which is good. All right, so now we've got that. So I guess like that's like the staff zone there, right? That's that sort of same colored zoning that we saw before for staff, which is cool. All right, so that's going to go there. That's better. I like this. I like this. Okay, so we're going to get a wall. Then I'm going to bring it. Actually, you know what? Hang on. So on these guys, we can build a queue, connect baggage bay. Well, let's build a queue first. So if we want to go... See, I guess you can't connect all these queues together like we could in Sim Airport, which is kind of good. Because I like having one queue for all of them. If we go... Like this. How much... These probably don't need to be too long if we... Don't have... How do I... Oh, there's escape. So that... Excuse, I was gonna say, these keys probably don't need to be that long. 
Although I made it pretty long anyway. So I went like this, up, back. Yeah, this will work, okay. So we'll do cues like this, and then I just right click to get out of it. Is it the same? I think so. Cool, yeah that works. Uh, so at least we know how big these cues will be, which is good, and they don't touch each other, so hopefully there shouldn't be any issues. I don't really know how this works, but this is the way I'm doing it, so that's the way it's working. It'll be interesting to see if anything I'm doing is correct. <laughs> And if any of this works. Alright, build a queue on this guy here as well. Bop, bop. Beautiful. Okay. So those are where our queues are going to go. So now we kind of know also where we need to do other stuff. Such as, you know, the security and all that. Uh, which actually, let's have a look. Uh, so security checkpoint. Small security checkpoint. I guess that's probably technically what you'd want. Must be in a secure zone. So you're not even allowed to place... Oh, you get a huge one though. Maybe we just start off with like one huge security checkpoint. So we could do like here, just because we have a, we could do a wall there and sort of go through the area. And we could always expand somehow. I don't know. If we wanted to expand, we'd probably have to redevelop quite a lot of it. But let's, um, okay, areas, let's go secure. No, let's build walls first. Uh, infrastructure, no, wall. Okay. So here, you're going to come down like that. And then this can come up to here and then cut off there. And then, so we're going to go, like, zoning. Secure. All of this area in here. Like that. And then we're going to go for items. Security checkpoint. Must border. Oh, okay, so we if we just do... Okay, yep. Yeah. No, I see, I see. So if we go like this. Um, hang on. Uh... What do I want? Items. Nope. I keep going the wrong tabs. I'll eventually learn this. Large door. So we're going to go large door. Maybe about here. Uh, and then this will be zone not secure. So maybe like to there. I don't know how, I don't know exactly where it needs to go. But we'll figure it out. Security checkpoint. Okay, so I can go sort of anywhere in this zone. So if we go like, so I guess it's just where that circle is that has to be in a regular zone. Okay, so if I put this here, that's where I want to put it, and I assume we'll have to do a queue on that. I, actually, I didn't really leave a lot of room for the queue, did I? Hang on, get rid of that. Uh, we'll move it a little bit further down, I think. So we're gonna go zones, this one here. Let's just take it all the way down, because that'll just give us plenty of room to play with the queue and all that. Uh... Let's put it there, because I think visually that lines up pretty well. And then we'll just fill this whole room with a queue. So large door, is that on its way? It is on its way. Good. And then these guys will be able to do something as well. I guess we have all these workers, but there's not actually that much work to do, because we're just building one thing at a time. Which is not ideal, but whatever. Alright, that's going to go there. I guess what I should probably do is get a wall. Oh, actually, hang on. Let me see. How does this work? Oh, okay. So it is, like, fenced. So let me just do a wall. Oh, like that, just one bit of wall, and just, like, one bit of wall there, just to sort of fence it in a little bit. Uh, allow person- oh, so you can do, like, a specific employee one, that's kind of cool. Alright, build queue now. So this is gonna go, I guess, just back and forth the whole way, this whole room. This might be too much. Again, don't know. Oops. Oh, no, damn. How do you- How do I remove bit of queue? Oh, control, that's right, yep, gotcha. I'll just have it start there, so you go, bop, and then, uh, beautiful. Alright, so that's gonna go there, good. That's good stuff. Uh, so we're waiting for that, oh, you know what we should do as well? Uh, structures, floor, yeah. Uh, we got like a white, looks like carpet, I just want like a, I don't want it to be fancy. Blue? It's like a blue. Maybe like blue rugs. I can't see where those fence the the cues go to because they blend the things blend in with the freaking the grid. <laughs> if you get out of this, you can see it. But as soon as you go into there, you can't see it. So I've got that's where it goes up to. Okay. I go like that. It's only sixty bucks for flooring. Ah, this is nice. A game. Like, sort of, in this sort of top-down style, where you do flooring, and it doesn't cost a million dollars, and it also doesn't take time to build. That was one thing that always really annoyed me about <laughs> all these games, is like, in Prison Architect, trying to do flooring, it was so damn expensive, and it took forever. 
So I'll go down like that. It's kind of like kind of like a rug, essentially. But then not on those areas. And then the other areas, maybe we can do like a... Should we do like... No. What is that? A white cover? A tile? We could just do like a tile in the other areas. Like a larger tile, maybe. That's probably alright. It's, it's not too bathroomy, I don't think. <laughs> it's not too bathroomy. Alrighty. It's a bit white though, isn't it? Well, I mean, you can see what's going on. Um, alright, let's get some more room over here. So you go through security. Cool. Then, well, let's have a look at our thing. What do we have to do? Operate? No. Uh, manuals. Construction. Okay. Aircraft fuel services. So security and queues. Um, build a security checkpoint, then build a queue for it. Remember, the check-in desk can also have structured queues built the same way. Cool. Press U to display queues. All right, aircraft fuel services. A great source of approval and economic growth in relation to your airport operations is offering of airport fuel services. Okay. The first thing you need to do is procure a fuel technology via the procurement panel so that you can build fuel depots and accept contracts. All right, so... Oh, okay, so we hire a procurement director via the boards panel. Okay, so we open the applications. Need to procure or unlock new assets for your airport? A procurement director can help do just that. Okay, then we go to applicants. Procurement, here we go. Right, now, what's the difference between these guys? Logic, pleasantness, technical. I, I don't really know what the difference would actually be. I mean, to be fair, they're not priced that differently. Let's just get the most expensive dude. Hey, man, you're in. Okay, so now we have... Uh, Alex Shevchenko. What up, bro? Welcome to my same hair colored body and face. Right, so we've done that. Uh, that should allow us to go to economy, procurement, and unlock uh, some stuff in here. So we want to go for, not structures, items, systems, other? I don't know, actually, what is this? Structures, items. Okay, contracts. Well, actually, contracts, if we go fuel supplies. No, we still don't have any fuel contracts, so... Uh, all right, so we've well, we've done that. Okay, manuals. Let me just go back to this again because this is <laughs> really annoying. Because the way they were this, the first thing you need to do is procure fuel technology, and then it's like before you can do that, it's like well, that's not the first thing to do. Then uh, you need to sign a contract with an aircraft fuel provider. Okay, well, so there are two. So we want to go. Fuel services must be procured by the procurement tab in the economy panel. Okay, so now I guess do I just pick one of these? So anti-spam filter, trail scanner, travel document scanner. I want fuel, shop up, carry, oh, fuel, food franchises, nice. Okay, so we can get one of these fuels. Um, cost, that's expensive. Delivery time, six hours. So is it aviation fuel used by GA aircraft by purchasing, I don't know what a GA aircraft is. Aviation fuel typically by commercial aircraft. Okay, well, maybe I want that one then. It's a million, is it? No, 100,000. Yeah. Unlock now. You do not have requirements for this product. Okay, we need an aircraft stand first, uh, which I don't... Infrastructure? Medium stand, small stand. Okay, well, let's have a look. Oh, Jesus. Okay, yeah, these are big. These are big! <laughs> so we can get a small one. Hang on. Okay, well, we really need to figure out where the terminal's gonna go. Maybe we've got a whole bunch of room down this side. Maybe we have them sort of running down this way a little bit. Um, I don't know how much room we need, though. That's the thing. Like, I really don't know. I don't want to leave too much room, but I don't want to leave... Too little room, you know? So come through security. Let's just have up here. Like, surely this is enough room. We're going to go one, two of those. And then maybe we can have like a medium stand around the side or something. Um, like, what if we do one here? Wait, how does this... Does it go that way? Oh, it totally goes that way. Did I do those? I think that... Wait. No, 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 because you got the arm there. It's just because there's a road underneath it. That's why I was confused. Okay, no, that's just, that's fine. So they'll build that, and then maybe... It, should I put this here? Let's try putting it here. Okay, so then... Uh, baggage bay connection is what you need. Security connection. This does not accept commercial flights and cannot transfer passengers. Yeah, well, obviously. Um, is it supposed to be on grass? I guess I need to put, like, stuff underneath it, like tarmac. No, that's tarmac. I guess taxiway. No, that's just a path. Maybe it is just tarmac. I need to go like this. Put some tarmac under it, I guess. Okay. Right, and then, let's go. So now we've got our workmen actually doing something. Let's build some more terminal. Okay, I'm, I'm learning. I'm Well, not learning. I'm guessing. Figuring it out. So I guess if we go here, is where it needs to be up to. Foundation. This can come down to at least there. 
for now. We'll figure it out. Okay, so that's going to go there. They'll all join together. That'll be wonderful. Uh, here they all come. At least everyone's doing a job now. Getting lots of deliveries. I wonder if it's quicker if we get... Because, like, we can only have one thing delivering at a time. I wonder if it's quicker... Because that guy has to wait. I wonder if it's quicker to have two delivery spots. Or if it's fine just having the one. I don't know. Anyway, so we're getting some tarmac underneath it, which is good. Uh, then we want to go for... Oh, I guess probably what you do... This is my guess. If we go, say, say we get some more tarmac here, just to fill in that corner. Oh, but that's not a that's not a taxiway though, is it? That's um, that's for aircraft. That's like a airport vehicle road, small runway, medium stand infrastructure. Maybe it's like maybe it's just road. Do you reckon that's just road? No, but that's road. What is that then? Checkpoint. Uh, enables a normal road to connect to a service road. Oh, okay. Well, where's a service road? Oh. Pfft. The one that says service. Right. Okay, cool. I got, I got it. <laughs> I'm, look, I'm working it out. <laughs> All right. Sorry. All right. Service road. So that would go there. So that's clearly a service road there running underneath all that, which is cool. So then we probably want to connect it down here or something to that regular road. So if we go checkpoint. Uh, let's put it there or something. Let's do that. Why not? And then we're going to go... Service. Well, actually, I'll wait till it's built so I can see where it goes. Whoops, I was searching. All right, so it's coming through here. Then we're going to go into this area. We're going to go to structures, wall. We're going to get rid of this wall. Rid of that wall. Rid of that wall. Rid of that wall there as well. Then that's all going to be a zone. A secure zone, that is. All through here. All through here. And to there. Just so that's properly done. Okay. So that's that. Um, so I guess these guys, you just have to walk across the tarmac to get to those. And then this one has like the little boom arm thing. All right, so now this is going to say you need security. Uh, the stand does not accept commercial flight. That's fine. Set pushback point uh, upgrades. Okay, cool. Commercial. So you can... S oh, general aviation is what GA is. Okay. And then commercial. Okay, so that's just like people wanting to fly their own aircraft, I guess. Just like light aircraft. Okay, cool. Uh, so items. Let's see what we've got. So we want a boarding desk. Um, now, do we want to... Oh, that doesn't line up. That's really annoying me. So what if we get two of these? Just so it's even, because otherwise it's going to annoy me. And then I, I'm going to... Do we need to do like a fence or something around this place? Aren't there fences? Tarmac? Well, I guess, you know, regular people can't walk on grass. So maybe that counts as secure anyway. Although that has a fence there. Hang on. Structures. Wall. Floor. Fence. Maybe do need this. I guess it probably makes sense, right? Um, yeah, I don't know. All right, well, look, working it out as we go. Infrastructure, service road. Slow, slow. Uh, well, let me go there. Kind of wish I built it one over now. I don't know why I put it there. Oh, you know what? Yeah, that's what I should do. No, I'm not going to accept that. <laughs> Not going to accept that. Let's just move that over. Uh, checkpoint. Get rid of that one. And then I want to move it over a little bit to there. Because that just makes much more sense. All right. So then I assume that we have to make sure that's all secure. I'm, I'm just going to guess. Maybe we don't. I, I, I don't know. All right. Can you please remove that so I can put it in the right spot instead of putting it in completely the wrong spot? Structure location. Not possible. Well, I know. I'm waiting for them to remove that. There it goes. All right. Oh. Oh, do I really have to remove the fence as well? Man. All right, structures, fence. Go away. All right, infrastructure. Here we go, checkpoint. Line that up. That's going to go there eventually. Please. There we go. That's going to go there. There we go. Service road's going to come to here. And the regular road's going to come to here. And then that should all join. It'll be lovely. Hooray! And then we get a fence. And we go like this. To there. And this comes to there. And that'll be great. Uh, oh, let, let's test this out. So now we go here. So we go... So this guy here. Connect stand. Okay. So can I, I assume I can connect two? Okay. So those two are now connected there. So that should say... The stand does not accept commercial flights and cannot transfer passengers. Oh, hang on. What if I do this? Security. The stand is not... Oh, the stand is deactivated and cannot transfer passengers. Why is it deactivated, though? 
Is it just because we don't have any flights? We, that, that's fine if that's the case. I just want to connect baggage bay. How do you do this? We haven't even got to that bit yet. I don't know. Look, we're getting there. I'm going to leave this part here because we're, <laughs> we're pretty far in. Uh, so we'll be back, I guess, in another video continuing our experiments with airport CEO. Um, <laughs> We'll see how we go, but yeah, all right, well, that's, that's, I think this is cool. I, it already looks like there's more depth to this, for sure, than Sim Airport, like, even with all the service roads and the fueling stuff that we've got to figure out, which I think, I think it'll be okay once I get going with it. Um, we do have an aircraft stand now, so maybe if we, can we unlock it? Oh, we can. All right, so we just have to do that. Uh, that's going to go eventually, and I might as well get this one, too. How much money do we have? Is that, no, it's going to cost 500,000, is it? Oh, no, 50,000. Oh, that's fine, let's do it. Right, we've got 1.5 million. We're on easy mode. So it should be all right. So let's do that. Um, we'll worry about the other stuff a little bit later. But there you go. So now we've got a secure transfer to get vehicles in, which is pretty cool. Got a couple of check-in desks. Probably don't need two for something this small, but I, I don't know. Look, I don't know. This airport's all an experiment. But thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below. But I'll see you next time. And have an awesome day.